Okay class we are going to. Kelly, why are you standing up while I was preparing to teach you and the other students? I am kind of emotional and lonely inside my heart, Mr. Comic-Con. Oh, I can feel your pain. If that is the case, why don't you report to the headmaster's office? Do not worry, you are in no trouble. Don't tell me you're here because you got in trouble. Actually, no, I did not get in trouble or anything. Oh, forgive me for saying that. But why are you in my office anyway? I feel emotional and lonely. Emotional and lonely? Why do you feel that way? Because of my boyfriend Zach. I haven't been able to talk to him ever since the idiot Aracino grounded me and him after we punished Claude. Who was responsible for putting a raccoon under your desk? And I swear, Claude is my brother, and he got Zach in trouble. Other than that, I came here only to tell you that I am emotional and lonely since I haven't been able to see or talk with Zach. So that is why you came here. Well, I guess if you are that emotional and alone, I'll give your parents a call so that they can pick you up. I will also tell them that you're in no trouble or anything. Thank you, Mr. Frederick. Can you also talk to Zach about me? Just please do not think that he's in trouble, because he wasn't in any trouble whatsoever. Sure, I'll talk to him about it. Other than that, thanks for telling me about your problem. You can go back to class. Okay. Mr. Kamikon? Yes, Mr. Frederick? Can you please tell Zach to report to my office? Yes, sir. I will send him there shortly. Thank you. Zach, the headmaster wants to see you in his office. Wait, sir. What did I do? I do not know. You should go and find out for yourself. Uh, okay. Why did you call me here, sir? Am I in trouble or anything? No, I called you here because Kelly wanted me to. Weird. What about her? Is she alright? She's okay. However, she's feeling emotional and alone because you haven't talked to her for a month. Hold on. Please tell me if this is some kind of joke. It isn't a joke. In case you saw her walking out of Mr. Kamikon's class with a very sad face, then you must consider the fact that it is serious. If that is the case sir thank you for telling me. I'll go see her after school. Alright, I'm done. You can go back to class. Gee, I cannot believe that Kelly became emotional since I haven't been seeing her. What am I gonna do to make her feel happy again? Hi Zach. Hey Brian. Kayla, what's up? We have heard that your girlfriend became emotional and lonely. Do you need help from us? Kinda. Well, if Kelly is emotional, why don't you get her something that will make her happy? Like flowers. Those can make girls feel special. Really? That sounds like a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Wish you luck. How may I help you? I wanted to get some roses for a girl. And yes, I have a girlfriend. Oh really? Well, come with me. Well this one is the last pack of roses I have. Do you wish to get it? Wow, it looks perfect. And it smells good. I'll take that. Awesome, that will be three dollars. Here you go. Thanks, have a good night. You too. Hi Miss Flute. Hi Zach, why did you come here? And what's with these roses? I came here because I heard that Kelly came home early since she was emotional, and these are for her. That is great news. She's in her room if you wanted to see her. Hi Kelly, I hope you do not mind if I can see you. I do not mind Zach. Please come in and talk to me. It's alright babe. I'm right over here. There is no need to feel sad. I know that I am supposed to be happy. But you haven't seen me for a month, and that is what made me emotional, therefore I missed you so much. I missed you too, and I am sorry if I did not talk to you in a while. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault either. Oh I almost forgot, 
I got you a present. Really? Yeah, I got you these roses, so that you can always remember me and our relationship. Oh my god, and thanks for these beautiful roses, oh boy do they smell so good. You're welcome, I love you a lot more than you can expect. And I love you as much as you do, come here my sweetheart. Thank you.